Yes, hello there and welcome here to another session and it's an awesome day within God. Now, uh, most of the time you always have a challenge where you need to synchronize your work, your video and your audio. And I remember I once did a video on how to synchronize and let the relationship between Adobe Premiere Pro and Plural Eyes. But too bad, the account was hacked, then it was deleted. But we thank God we regained the account back. So I want now to just show you easily how you can use plural eyes when you are editing your music for example you have gone out to the field you have taken about 30 clips and then you have the audio how do you synchronize the entire work so moving on to plural eyes remember plural eyes is a synchronizing software so you just open your plural eyes drag your work for example these are my videos so i'm going to drag one by one because if i drag them all they are going to be on the same line drag the first video can just open side by side the second video the third the sixth video the seventh now those are different texts that you are taking from different angles the seventh and the last one so those are nine that's 57 as the ninth video so you have come they have they rename it as camera camera one two three four five six seven eight nine then you take your audio this is the audio drag your audio just below then it's going to prepare the media to synchronize and once it's done you're now going to export your work as a Premiere Pro format. So once you export it, you're now going to open it in Premiere Pro and it will have already synchronized your work. So the only thing now you'll be doing from there is just to cut where you don't want the footage and replace. So at this point, you allow the media to complete preparation. So you can do this even when you are doing an interview. For example, if you want to do an interview and maybe you are recording with three cameras, you just apply you use, use premier uh, pluralize to synchronize the three cameras then once you do that you will now move to the next part where you now need to export your work to premiere pro then when you export it to premiere pro it's now easier to change from camera one to camera two then from camera one to camera two uh, in this case where we have having two cameras so it becomes easier where you now switch from one camera to another so once the media has finished you are going to click on synchronize at that point, your clips are synchronizing. That is what you have. Then you export your you export your work, and you export it in Premiere Pro format. So at that point, then you have this option on the options where you color and synchronize clips. If you don't want, you just disable it. But because I want it, I just enable it. Then move and synchronize clips to the end. That happens when maybe you don't you don't want the clips to interfere in between. So it depends on how you want it. In my case, I can just do away with it, then I export. Now, you rename your work and where you want to export it to. So for example, that is my work, then you save, then export. After exporting, you are going to get the confirmation message that it has already been exported. There you have your work. Now, when you have your work, in this case, you just open it now direct to Premiere Pro because it's a Premiere Pro format. And in case you discover that you have exported your work, for example, and it's not giving you the option of Premiere Pro. Opening with Premiere Pro, you just right click on your work. Then you go to the properties. And then make sure you change the property to be able to open with Adobe Premiere Pro. There are many options. You can you will find a lot and a lot of options. But our concern is uh, Premiere Pro, so that is how you enable it. So because we have already opened our work, so you now have your work here. Now you can continue, for example, you now have this. So if you are keen, you are going to discover there are a lot of audios. So what you are going to do is we are going now to turn off the other audios and just concentrate with one full screen. Uh, so you mute the other audios and just leave one audio. That is the last audio at this point. Then you now have this. Ooh, yeah. 
So what happens is if now I want to change from one shot to another, I can just move this a bit so I can be able to see my work. I'm not interested with the audios right now. So I just want to concentrate on all the, aud the videos. So I have video 6, video 5, video 4, video 3, video 2. So maybe at this point I don't want video 3 to appear. I want uh, another video split that is, let us see on the keyboard, move. Then you have from this shot to another shot. If you want to change from that shot, you just move this a bit and you introduce another shot. If you now want to have another shot, you move this and you introduce another shot. So that's how you go changing from one shot to another shot. And it's as simple as that. Now, the same thing you can do it in Pre Premiere Pro. Uh, it's not complicated. So in this case, let's assume you're not, you don't want to use pro roll eyes. You want to just do a lip sync with Premiere Pro. So you are going to just open a new sequence. So you just open it. Uh, personally, I use the ARRI 1080, then 25 frame rates per second. Then I can name it as song, for example. So once you have that, what you are going to do is you are going to go to your audio, your videos, and I'm going to drag one after the other, so I can just begin with the first one. I drag it on my timeline. The most important thing to note is where you are dragging your work. You change sequence because you don't want to interfere. Now I will do this and I will not put the audio on audio one, neither will I put the video on video one because I want audio one to just have the normal audio, the original audio. So I will take the rest and apply on top so I can just put this like that so I can drag the rest. So once you do that, you now have all your videos. I have fast forwarded so that I can save time. Then I select my entire work. Okay, uh, you put your audio now. Audio, you put it on audio one to be on the safer side. Then select all your work. You can click on one, then control A to select the entire work. Right click, then you have the option of synchronize. Then you are synchronizing the audio and the main audio is audio one. So once you click OK, it's now going to process and you are going to discover it's now going to arrange your work accordingly or systematically, if I've used the right English. Am I making sense? I think I am. So let's see. So it takes some time. Uh, it's not f that fast compared to Pluralize, but if you're using a gaming laptop, it's a bonus on your end. And thank you Premiere Pro for the 2022 version. We have loved the option. Uh, it's a good one. Uh, we, I will do. I will be doing the video on new features in 2022. It's just superb. You will love it. So uh, at that point, it has finished. Uh, then you now have your work like this. Remember, there are two that were not perfectly recorded. So what happens in that situation? It means in one way or the other, maybe the audio was off, or maybe something like that. So you can just use them any way you want so you right click on your work report delete and back to your screen you mute the rest you just remain with the audio one that is what you want to work with because the audio is the same so there's no need of working with the street audio and it's full of noise so once you have that you mute the rest of the audios back to your work and then from here, you will now move from the first shot to the next shot and moving on, moving on. If you want to change the shot, for example, you have something like that as maybe this is the shot.
So the process is still the same. Split, letter C. Move, if that's the new shot you want. Maybe you want now to use the other shot. Move, menu the shot you have. And that's how you go about from the beginning to the end. And now your editing is made easier. If you're recording a music, it should not take you a maximum of six hours. It should take you less than four, four hours to complete and do a good editing. Then I will be sharing on how Adobe latest version has suite and awesome color collection with just a touch and your color collection is done. Thank you. Let's meet in the next video.